Wow, these bees are really busy. And what I've been wanting to do is show people how you can inspect a hive. And a lot of people are struggling with finding the queen or maybe spending too much time in the hive. So I thought I'd make a video to show all of you out there how I inspect a hive and I can move through it pretty fast. I'm David Burns, Certified Master Beekeeper. Let's open up a hive. Okay, so what we want to do is approach the hive. A few puffs of smoke in the opening. I put these uh, concrete blocks on to help hold the lid down in case of severe uh, unexpected thunderstorms. I open up the hive from the back a little bit, or the, the top, just raise the top, and I want to smoke under the top and then let it go back down just for a second. Once I get the top ready to come off, I want to take the top off slowly because the bees got to get used to the sunlight. I'm going to turn it over and look for a small hive beetle and smash them if I see them. I'm ready to open it up now. No beetles. I can look that fast. It just got some bees walking around. And then what I want to do next is just blow a few puffs of smoke right over the top, not down in it, but over the top like this. Find the wind. The wind's kind of that direction, see? Blow it like that and you're good to go. Start your inspection from one side, this side right here. I want to start with this one frame. This is a super that the bees haven't done much to yet. And they're just starting to work it. That gives me space. I took one frame out right here and that gives me space to move the rest of them. Use your hive tool, putting it between frames and twisting it like this to free it up from the propolis that sticks it together. I just slide this one back. Gonna do the same one. There's not many bees on this new honey super yet. For example, I'll just show you what it looks like. They're just now starting to draw some wax out. You can see the bees working it, right? We're not gonna find the queen up here. It'd be kind of unusual, but we'll keep an eye out on her. One frame looks good. Just a honey super, bees working the wax. Doing a hive inspection. Same thing, we just have a frame of bees that are hard at work. We're getting closer to the middle, so it looks like that the bees are starting to be more active and drawing out. They've got some nectar that they're storing in there. Keep moving along, slow motion. By the way, let me tell you, when you work bees, pull the frames out slowly like this. Slow motion. This honey super is kind of the same as all the rest, but it's a little more drawn out because we're in the middle. Gonna put it back in. I'm gonna put my reading glasses on because I wanna look for eggs just in case the queen may have gotten up here. Some people say, how come your bees aren't more aggressive and defensive? I don't know. I like to work my bees in slow motion. I'm not wearing a hat or veil, but you always should. All right, so the queen is not laying up here. This looks like just one good frame of nectar. It's not honey yet because they haven't started sealing it off yet. Still looking around at everything. Same thing, I got wax being drawn out. No eggs in the drawn out frames yet. So, all this looks the same. I'm gonna push everything back now. I've seen everything I need to see in this super. And as you can see, it only took us just a few minutes to take a look and all looks good. So now we're gonna take the super off and go one more step down. One more box down. Okay, so now we're gonna take the hive and, and take off the top super. I start in the back. I separate it just a little bit. You got to take your hive tool and sometimes you have to hit it and then once you get it broken loose, blow a little smoke in there like this. 
and that will help calm the bees as you work this super off. All right, now I'm going to take the super off and set it right on top of my top cover. I set it like this in case, you know, sometimes the queen could be in there. I don't want to set it on the grass or I could, uh, I could hurt the queen. I'm going to start the inspection, prying off the first frame closest to the wall, prying it loose. Sometimes you have to pry it up on the edges like this. Now the bees haven't drawn out all the way across. They're starting to work on the frames. So we're going to just kind of move these out of the way. So that we can kind of inspect some brood, see what our queen's doing, see how the lady laying pattern is. So I'm just going to skip ahead and get more closer to the middle where I know that more brood is going to be. This feels heavy, but it's got a lot of brood in it. So as you can see, this is the, the laying pattern of my queen. The queen's not going to be on this frame because there's no place for her to lay, correct? That's why we're not looking for the queen here. But it looks good. I'm going to put it back. Check the next one. It's propolis together, pretty tight. Good brood pattern again. Do you see the queen? Find the queen. We have open larva here, if you can see. So that means that the queen has been here five or six days ago. Oh, and I see some eggs along the edges. Uh, not necessarily eggs, but some very young larva near the edge. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up or not, but I can tell that the queen has been here. So I'm going to look, make sure she's not on this one on both sides. Nope. And see right here by my thumb, they're starting to seal off some of the actual nectar and make, make a sealed frame of honey there. So the queen possibly is on the next frame, right? Because she had laid on that one just a few days ago. So let's take the next one out, see what we got. Okay, I'm looking to see what I have on the bottom. I've got a lot of larva. I don't see any eggs. Oh, I see eggs on this frame. So now that means we have to look carefully for the queen because she laid eggs on this. And these eggs only stay an egg for about um, not two to three days. On day three, they moat into a larva stage. But I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see her anywhere. I'm going to check the other side again for the queen and I don't see her. I can kind of look that fast for her. Let's keep going at the look at the next frame. I'm not wearing a hat or veil, but you should. But this this hive is just a very gentle hive. Okay, here's the next frame. They're starting to draw it out and it has mostly uh, nectar in it. Anybody see the queen? I don't either. I've kind of moved some comb around. I've I've put some empty frames in here in the in the brood area so that they could draw some wax out a little faster like this frame here. And as you can see, they're starting to draw the wax out. I just stuck it between two frames that were drawn out nicely. And here we have a queen cell. If you can look right here. This queen cell means that the bees could be wanting to raise a queen. I'm looking down there and it is empty if I look down the, the hole of this queen cell. So it could just be a standby if we need it. We'll keep a queen cell there. Let's look at another comb. Another frame. See what's on it. Okay, some some more brood in various stages. I do have some eggs on this frame on the edges. 
I don't know if the queen's here, so we're looking. Sealed brood again. I don't see the queen. Look at the next one. I don't see, I'm not seeing any small hive beetle, any kind of brood issue. Everything looks healthy. On this frame, I have some bee bread and nectar. And I would not find the queen on this frame because she's got no place to lay. This is bee bread, a combination of nectar and pollen mixed together. It's kind of like uh, starting to ferment, break down so the bees can digest it easier. You want to go down deeper? All right, let's do it. I'm going to put these frames back the way I found them, which means everybody gets moved over, back in position. Sorry if my arm is uh, blocking your view. And as you can see, I have a, a hive stand that has the hook so that I can take my frames and hang them here. And I'm just going to look for my queen again one more time. She could be walking around on some of this uh, comb that hasn't completely been drawn out yet. Now we're going to take the top deep off and get to the bottom deep, see if we can find the queen. A little bit of smoke again. I'm going to take uh, the top deep off by separating it with my hive tool. And you can see the beads really glue things together quite nicely. Sometimes it's very hard to separate them. Then I'm going to smoke in between the sections, two or three puffs like that. That's all I need. I'm going to take this off. We've already looked at it. And I'm going to put it on top of the super over here on the ground that's on top of the top cover, like that. And now we're going to inspect these frames, see what's down here. A couple of puffs of smoke across the top again, like that. Start at the, the one on the side. That's going to be the best place to start. See if you can pry it loose. lift the first one out because rarely is a queen over on this side because that's where they store a lot of nectar she can't lay over here you have less chance of hurting the queen by starting with the frame closest to the wall but that proved me wrong because look how much brood is there so at one time the queen was laying right there I don't think we're gonna see the queen there so we're just gonna park this frame on the hanger leave it right there for a minute I'm going to keep looking frame by frame what we have here. Does anybody see the queen on this frame? I don't. And I don't see any eggs on that side, so we're going to put that back. All right, so let's keep looking frame by frame at what we have. We have nectar, brood. We have some drone brood. You can see the drone brood at the bottom and a little tiny emergency queen cell if they need it. We have some bees emerging, coming out for the first time. It's kind of hard for me to hold, but right over here, let's see. I saw a little bee coming out somewhere. Oh, right here. That's kind of cool to watch, isn't it? To watch a little bee coming out. Two up there, some antennas right there coming out. Okay, enough playtime. Oh boy. I could sit here and just watch bees forever, couldn't you? Well, I still don't see the queen. Looking on both sides. I'm going to keep looking at the next frame. I don't like to wear gloves because I like to feel everything about the beehive. Uh, the bees are being nice to me, and they're, uh, I'm being nice to them, they're being nice to me. 
Now look at this, okay? The queen is on this frame. I saw her when I pulled it out. But she's not on this side. She's going to be on this side. See if you can find the queen. Find the queen game. Anybody see her? She's got a big green dot on her back. You can see her walking around. And there she goes. So let me lay this down and we'll film it a little closer. I'll just lay it down like this. And by the way, if you want to, you can pick the queen up if you need to mark her. I hold her by her wings like this. And then I take my thumbs and I kind of just can hold her back two legs like this. And I'm holding her by her back two legs. I'm not sure how close I can get and you can see me holding the queen. But that's how I handle queens, by their wings and by their back two legs. I just put her back down and let her walk around, okay? There she is, walking around. Here she comes. She's down in the crack, you can't really see her. Let's pick her up and put her back in the middle. I'll just set her right here and we'll let her walk around over there. And you can see the bees like to lick the queen's pheromones. We might even get to see her start laying. We probably interrupted her rhythm. So she may not lay anything while we're watching like this. She's got to find some good cells to, to, to lay in. And you can see her retinue. There's some bees surrounding her. There's a, they are the ones that tend to her and feed her and take care of her. This is just a fun afternoon for me, hanging around out here with the beehives by myself and the camera. So thanks for joining me. I hope I'm not boring you. I just like to watch bees, kind of watch what they do. I don't know, she doesn't look like she's in a laying mood. She's kind of looking at some some cells, but sometimes they just lay, 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 and sometimes they, they're they not laying as much. She started to kind of back into a cell, but changed her mind. Well, she almost is kind of backing into one, but not, not like you would, not like you normally see when a queen lays eggs, so. Some of you are probably saying, I've never seen a queen lay an egg before and you're kind of like come on but all the all the other bees are hanging out around her now and transferring some pheromones i'll let you know if i see her lay an egg back into a cell so that you would be able to say oh that's what it looks like we might see that we'll hang out here just a minute longer she's looking in a cell oh there she goes backing in now she's laying an egg see how she's curled oh step out of the sunlight buddy She's kind of curled up and laying an egg in there. They're just totally all over her. Let me see if I can, oh, she's coming out now. I'll make a video on a queen laying an egg. And you can watch how all the bees will kind of look in the hole in the cell when she pulls out. I marked her green this year. This was a, a swarm that I caught about a month ago. I marked her green. It was the only pen I had available. Blue is the year for 2015. So she's like chilling, having fun. Now she's moving on. Let's see what she does. There are some people, some bees that are playing back there and looking in the, at the egg. She looks in a cell. She walks forward and then she backs into it. She's looking to make sure the cell meets her standards of cleanliness prepared to accept an egg. A lot of, in a lot of antenna movements of the bees uh, touching her. And you know, it, it's kind of tough to continue laying eggs when you're on television, right? You know, it's like, I'm kind of embarrassed I'm on YouTube. If she was in the hive and didn't have all the cameras on her and maybe the sunlight hitting her, uh, things might go differently. A lot of, see how many bees just are drawn to the queen? They say about 
between 20 and 30 uh, bees usually are in her retinue that kind of walk around with her and take care of her. We are going to have to move on, aren't we? Do something different. But anyway, that's what goes on on a frame, you know. So like right now, if you're looking at this frame saying, okay, where's the queen, where's the queen, where's the queen? I don't see a queen. You may not see her. And if she was not marked, you probably would like, oh, I'd never find her. But, you know, let me just take my camera past it and pretend that you don't know where the queen is. You know, all at once you can see a green dot, right? And think, oh, that's where the queen is. I can zoom in on her. And in this case, we can see a lot of bees around her, too. They're taking care of her. Right there. All right, break it up, guys. I just move them along with my finger. Nobody stung me. They're just kind of like, okay, we were having fun, hanging out with the queen. Until somebody stuck their finger there. Got the queen moving along. She might flop over the edge and go to the other side. We'll kind of keep an eye on her and see what happens here. Queen on the move. This is more fun than going to a state fair, or at least a county fair, probably. So open up your hive and watch what a queen does. Yeah, there she goes. Okay, we'll continue on. Okay, so I know my queen is on this frame that I laid down, so I gotta be real careful because I don't want to hurt the queen because she might be on the back side back here. So now I gotta find her to see if she's on this frame. Oh yeah, she is. And I'm not sure if it's right in the middle, but she's right here. If you can see, I see a green dot. So now I can put the frame back. I'm watching her all the way down. Do that, students. Don't, don't just willy-nilly pull a frame back. I watched her. I can slide this one close to the other one because it won't hurt the queen, right? Because I saw where she was. She was in the middle of the frame not near anything like uh, the wood where she could be smashed underneath some frames. So what I'm going to do now is put everything back together. Uh, let me tighten stuff up now because this frame is a little wide. I take my hive tool and I just start s gently pushing the frames back together. Now ah, they're pretty tight. And the same here. Tighten up the frames. And then I'll put this last one back in the hive. I'll use my wood guides on the on the edge, the sidebars, to guide it right into place. And then I want to even them out on both sides by taking uh, the gap over here against the wall away. Okay, looks good. We're going to put our foot down, lift up this super, our deep high body, put it back. Woohoo, here we go. Right in position. That's perfect. I kind of use my two hands like this and make sure it's good and level. Bees look good. I gotta put my super on, same thing. Pick it up off the top cover. They're starting to bring a lot of nectar in, honey in. <sighs> I square it off good like this. And right now I don't have any inner covers on so I'm just gonna put my top cover back on this was awesome it was a lot of fun I didn't see anything unusual about this hive all the brood looked great uh, all the larvae looked white and pearly it didn't look anything like um, you know I didn't see any uh, bad uh, larva pupa the brood pattern was great we saw the queen we saw a good amount of bee bread, some pollen, a lot of nectar. They're starting to work on this honey super. It's early in the year. Again, this is a swarm that's about a month old and they're going to town. They're still, they've still got some frames to draw out and, uh, but they're doing really good. But that's basically what I like to do about uh, inspecting a hive. You saw how we like to uh, start on one side of the box and start lifting out that frame next to the wall. We were surprised because one of the combs where they usually don't put brood, uh, she did lay right up against the wall, um, but it looked great. So this is just beekeeping at its best. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been great spending time showing you how to inspect the hive and appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and be sure to check us out at honeybeesonline.com.
See you next time.